So, I found some wizards, and I thought I would paint them Power Ranger style. They'll all get their own colour, maybe representing the element of the spells they specialise in. I don't know. Anyway, today I'm going to split it up into a couple of videos. We'll paint the red wizard, and we'll also paint the blue wizard. So, let's get on with it, shall we? I'm going to start, for absolutely no reason, with the blue wizard. My plan here is to paint the robes, but I don't want the robes to stand out on their own, so I'm going to paint the cloak as well. This paint is fairly transparent, so it's going to take a few layers to cover. Gone for a storm blue for the robes, and then just this purple for the cloak. My plan in the beginning was not to go too detailed with the cloak, it was just there so the robes had something to kind of attach to, so your eyes weren't so like jarred by just the blue. So just did a simple purple and a shade across it to give it a little bit of detail, but nothing too spectacular. But in the end I ended up painting up the cloak as well. So I found out the paint that I used as the base coat is incredibly glossy, which is a bit of a shame because that will be left in the shadows. So I'm going to use some matte varnish to hopefully get rid of that. And I'm highlighting with a lighter blue here. It's transparent, so I just do it layer by layer, I'm doing a smaller layer each time, hopefully getting a nice gradient by the end. And my advice, as always, is when you first do this, consider the bigger shapes. Forget the folds and the creases, just consider the entire sleeve or the entire bit of robe that's kind of falling loose. Just consider the big shapes in the beginning, don't get bogged down in the details, that comes later. So now we have a lighter blue, what I'm doing is slowly adding these lighter shades to the mixture that I had used previously. So I'm not jumping straight to a bright paint, I'm doing it bit by bit as we add more and more of the lighter paint to it. And after an awful lot of layers, this is the result I got on the robes. I'm actually really happy with it. I think there's a nice contrast between the light and the dark, and I really like the colours. I decided that the cloak was far too blue, uh, the blue robes, and it was a pretty bluish purple uh, cloak. It was just all blending together. I tried to highlight up to a purple, but that didn't work at all. In the end, I went over the cloak entirely, doing a new base coat in an actual purple this time. And then I thought it'd be cool to have the cloak look maybe a bit shinier, so a much more stark contrast. Uh, so I've left mostly the middle of the cloak untouched. And then I've gone up to kind of the brightest blue that I have on the robes, but only on the very edges. And the idea here is it gives it kind of this more silk finish, like it's, it's got a bit more of a sheen to it. And so, with the power of being able to skip all the bits in between, we get very quickly to the end result of our Blue Wizard. I did end up completely painting them, as you probably saw in the thumbnails, so you get to see that at the end. But for now, let's move over to the Red Wizard. Hopefully we'll get as good a result with the Red Wizard. 
I don't want to start with actual red because I know that after highlighting I'll end up either in the pink or to orange or yellow or whatever range. So I've started with this kind of very royal purple or crimson I guess. This way now I can highlight up with actual red. That's going to cover most of the miniature but it will leave us with this really deep colour in the shadows which will be kind of cool. So the camera really wanted you to see my thumb here. But what I'm doing, as you can see in the background, is just slowly adding bits of orange. I don't have too many red colors. I just have a red color, in fact. So I would either have to highlight that up with white and then we get to this kind of unsaturated pink color, um, or I could mix it with orange or maybe yellows or something like that. And that's the route that I've decided to take this time. And this is the result I got with the Red Wizard. Again, I'm really happy. It doesn't have quite the same contrast levels as the Blue Wizard, but I really like the colors. Definitely call it a Red Wizard. Very happy with that. And here's a shot side by side of the blue and the red. I think they look pretty cool together. Uh, maybe they're from different wizarding schools. Or like I say, they specialize in different uh, types of magic. And as I said, I did end up finishing them off. So this is what they look like completed. I'm going to be painting the other two wizards that I have. The idea is them to be green and yellow. I'm a little nervous of the yellow because that's a difficult color to paint in and I not avoided it, but not really had an opportunity to use it before. So hopefully I will learn something. Uh, I've done a lot of green, so nothing special there. Uh, hopefully I'll get as good a result as I have with these because as I say, I'm really pleased with them. If you want to follow along, then please subscribe and you'll see when the next video comes out. Until then. Thanks for watching. Bye.